Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borak, and this is going to be a quick video on the Sixers getting it done up in Toronto by a whopping fashion, destroying the Raptors. As I don't think anybody foresaw that outcome coming. Maybe a win, but 132 to 97. Yeah, I definitely don't think many foresaw that outcome coming. As Joe Embiid, as I said in the preview, if he stepped up because he did it with a bad back before, now he's done it with a bad thumb, and he did step up big time, 33-10, one assist, two steals, and three blocks. Tobias Harris also had 19 and 11, then 25-3 and 8 for Maxi, and then Harden was more substantial in this game as well with 22, 15 assists, and 6 being a little bit more aggressive on the score sheet than he was in all of the previous games of the series. So if we that continues and even ramps up going forward in the playoffs. But the Sixers don't have to deal with Hestabias Harris. And no offense to the fans, but they don't have, didn't want to have to deal with the Game 7, basically paraphrasing his quote. Now they don't have to deal with the Game 7 in Philly. They were up 3-0. They had bad back-to-back -back games that resulted in a 3-2 um, looking like they had a chance to blow it, and then they just wiped the floor with the Raptors in Toronto and played <clears throat> very well against them. Siakam still was able to get 24. Uh, Boucher was able to get 25, but they were able to play very solid overall defense in this game and limit the Raptors. And then also, obviously, the bigger reason they won this game is their offense was just lethal the Sixers offense this game to drop 132 in a clinching game just shows how lethal this offense can be when it's firing on all cylinders because even Danny Green also added 12 and 5 for you so that's a huge thing off of the bench Paul Reed added 9 uh, Niang added 6 so you had a couple contributing factors off of the bench as well because that's a key going forward especially against the Heat a key going forward would definitely be your bench contributions because if the Sixers do not have bench contributions as that series kicks off at 7.30 on Monday, May 2nd, they're going to have a much bigger issue against the Heat than they would against the Raptors because we saw them still be able to muscle through some games in this series, especially in the first three, when the bench ones are the sexiest, one because of the beat hitting a great shot. But still, you're able to win the games. Now you're going to need continuous good play from Danny Green, I also believe in Miami, well, yeah, it's in Florida, so he's definitely eligible for all the games. Uh, Thibel's definitely eligible for all the games. And then, so that's going to be helpful, but we're also going to need to see what we saw from Matisse in the regular season because he was dreadful in Game 5 and irrelevant. So you're going to have to see good play from him. But that's moving forward into the next series. Overall in this game, and B was a mastermind. He's the first star. I think you have to give Tyrese Maxey the second star. And then it's kind of a combination of Toby and James Harden, since they all combined it, they both combined it to do good enough secondary scoring in this game to Embiid's first level and Maxi's kind of secondary 1B level scoring in this game. Then you had Tobias and James Harden do the secondary scoring to get it done and get the Sixers over the hump with the lethal offense and good play from Danny Green, solid play from Niang, and good play from Paul Reed. So all those things compounded into one, were able to get the Sixers a absolute massive win to clinch the series 132 to 97 nobody saw it coming in that big of a swoop but the Sixers got it done as this has been a video recapping the final game of the series as their defense was pretty damn solid in the game limiting them to 97 but their offense was just the lethal part and the first absolute big reason why they won that game and then we already went over the three stars of Embiid, Maxi, and then you kind of had Harden and Tobias ball all mixed in there in the end and then you got to continue to have great depth play from some of these guys and better play from Thibel, obviously, since he's eligible in all games going forward in the Heat series. But that's a series that I'll preview going forward. And hopefully, maybe be able to get my co host, Andrew Santangelo, on because I know how busy he's been down there <clears throat> working his job in Oklahoma. But we'll see what we're able to do there. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Have a good day. Please do subscribe down below. We're up above in the Easy Juice Widget to keep the channel growing to 230 or more by the end of April. We appreciate you guys' love and support this far. Go Sixers. Let's ride that momentum off of this big win into Miami. Peace out, everybody.